Hello, I am Gigi Azmi, a conscious relationship coach who supports successful men and women in making their dream relationship possible. You see, when you can tune into the wisdom of your body, which is actually the part of your intelligence that is better suited for true intimate connection than your mind, you can then pick up on the subtle signals within yourself as well as the signals from your partner. When you listen to the language of the body, you have the ability to have information that you would not know otherwise to create a deep connection in the moment. Now, just like part one of the lesson, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you an exercise that will immediately begin helping you to apply these techniques to your life and relationships. But first, I wanna share a story that will help you understand how becoming emotionally unavailable to ourselves can make or break our connection to someone else. So Stephen, my dear client, he excelled at work. He had a deep inner life and he had a lot of respect within his community. So you can imagine why he was confused and frustrated that everything in his life seemed to be going great, except for his relationships. He had a few good long-term relationships, but his partners inevitably ended becoming shut down, angry, or disappointed in their interactions. When Stephen and I started talking about how he would interact with his partners, we began to see a common thread. Like many people today, Stephen had lived his whole life only listening to his mind. He never needed to slow down and to listen to the intelligence that lies within his body, his somatic intelligence. I explained to him that if he wants to be able to connect deeper with his partner and have a great relationship, he needs to learn how to speak the language of his body. For example, this is a great example. So listen to this. So Stephen was super interested in someone, but he didn't feel like she was giving him the same attention or level of interest back. So rationally in his mind, Stephen believed, well, if she isn't giving me a sign that she's interested, right, then she's not interested. Eventually, Stephen began shutting down and became upset at the idea that she wasn't into him. During one of our sessions, I had Stephen close his eyes and go back to the moment where he believed that this woman was expressing her lack of interest in him. Then I had him connect to his body instead of staying in his mind about the situation. I asked him to feel her with his body right there in the moment and to tell me what she was feeling. Now, even though this situation happened in the past, Stephen noticed that when he opened himself up to feeling her with all of his senses, with his entire body, he was able to pick up on so much more information about what she truly needed to hear and feel. He was able to sense that she was simply tired in that moment. And she wasn't ready to engage the way that he wanted her to, right? He wanted her to engage in a very um, high energy interested way. But he realized that if he were connected to his body in the moment, he could have decided to give her what she actually needed. He could have decided to comfort her and serve her deeply in the moment instead of becoming upset that he wasn't getting his needs met. 
Stephen later told me that when he applied this technique within his relationship, he was able to pick up on how she needed him to slow down with her and give her a hug and how when he was responsive that way, it absolutely changed her and the way that she engaged with him. She immediately became warm and giving towards him. With just tiny to learn tweaks, guys, Stephen was able to open up to the feeling that his body was already communicating to him, but he just wasn't listening. He shifted how he listened from his mind to his body and how he responded to others and was able to create the relationship of his dreams. So we see from Stephen that relying on the mind is important to create a good life and have a good job, but it's not our greatest strength in intimate relationships. The magic lies in being able to pick up on our own personal signals and also the quiet signals of our partner to create a rich, inspiring connection in real time. To become emotionally available and emotionally intelligent towards ourselves and our partners, we must develop the ability to tune into our body signals and honor what our body is telling us. And we must honor our partner's needs to create a true sense of safety with each other. In order to better hone in on your body's intelligence, here's a practice using your body to feel into what you and others need in any given moment. This is especially useful when you're feeling tired, confused, nervous, or anxious. Start by taking a few breaths to help you relax. Then after feeling fully relaxed with your mind clear, simply ask your body, what do I really feel right now? What do I really need right now? Or if it's for someone else, you can ask, what does this person really need right now? What would be in service for me to give right now? Now, you are not attempting to be psychic. You are simply clearing your mind, which allows the intelligence of your body to come through. Your body is always talking to you. And you may receive the answer in the form of an image, a picture, words, or feelings. You're going to simply accept the first answer and trust that your intuition has picked up correctly. With enough consistent daily practice, you will find your ability to listen to your body will get clearer and clearer. So learning how to tune into your body's wisdom is a vital part to becoming emotionally available and connecting with your partner. But remember, it is just one part. In order to create the dream relationship you dream about, one filled with generosity and honest communication, you must also become consciously aware of your own needs and honor them so that you can better serve yourself and in turn better serve your partner. If you missed part one of this segment, remember that I'm going to leave it in the comments or the description. I so loved making this video for you and I hope you loved it as much as I loved making it for you. Please share it if you found it to be inspiring to help so many more people that need to learn how to create an inspiring relationship. Thank you and see you for part three in this series. Bye-bye.